Taylor Hogue with review video number five. Uh, the two pieces I have selected for this week are the real Ghostbusters pilot episode and Mr. Limpet. Mr. Limpet is the story of a man who wants to join the military and doesn't feel like he's good for much, most especially after he's turned down for being 4F, too unhealthy to do so. His he has an obsession with fish, which causes some trouble with him, conflict with him and the other characters, namely his wife Bessie, who, much, who finds it very embarrassing. It's revealed he wishes he could become a fish, and after being forced to give away his fish, his desire is stronger than ever. He ends up falling off, he ends up either falling or jumping off the pier in Coney Island, where he, his wife and his friend Stickler were going to enjoy themselves. He is presumed drowned, but in actuality he is transformed into a fish, and during which time he starts to grow, gain his own sense of confidence and begins to realize what is truly important in life. When he finds out his country has gone to war, he is more determined than ever to join in and actually assist the, the Navy in, in targeting and destroying German U-boats. Eventually, they catch on to this and create a device to take, to take out Limpet. It doesn't work. He instead uses their own weapon against them and, and uses the sound to, which they torpedoes use to track him to launch the torpedoes back at their own submarines, becoming a hero, though an unsung one. By the end of which, he has gained enough confidence to truly decide what he wants to do and where he truly belongs, namely with the, his newfound love, which he refers to as Lady Fish. He, Bessie gives him his, her blessing after they both realize that being together now would be impossible, him being a fish and her being a human, and she and, Stick, and, she and Stickler instead, and she instead remarries Stickler years later. The, old, the scenes were very good. They were fast paced. They, did, they weren't too slow. There were a couple of thick times it seemed a bit unnecessary, such as the song numbers, but the really good scene I really felt was odd was the first one. It seems like this was a happy time for all of them when their friend was there, but instead, Stickler considers it more of a nightmare. But then again, it is revealed by the end of it, it's because he's remarried Betsy and doesn't want to bring up old history. So I guess that scene was necessary. As for the real Ghostbusters, it has all the characters from the original series like Peter, Egon, Winston, uh, Ray, who are, and it's basically a series of, and it basically shows a ser the, it's basically a series about their time as Ghostbusters and what ghosts they've caught before and kind of an extension of the original series. The only real difference here is that they have a pet ghost called Slimer. At the first he is a very selfish little fella, but eventually, but, but at the start of the episode, but do, during a series of events he starts, it, but during a series of events he inadvertently released three ghosts that they had caught just earlier that day. And they wind up trying to run them out of business and inadvertently waking a far more terrifying level 10 ghost. And then when his friends are put in danger, he realizes that, that if he doesn't do something, they'll die, they'll die and it'll be because of him. So he puts himself at risk and ends up saving the day. I thought the scenes were perfect for the episode. They were fast paced. There was always something to keep you gripped. You didn't really want to take your eyes off the screen because if you did, you'd probably end up missing some really cool action. While I did not think that the voice actors were very fitting for the characters, I did, on the other hand, think that the scene pace was perfect for that, fit, for that, for that episode. It wasn't too slow. It wasn't... They didn't put in unnecessary information or... Ridiculous subplots. I won't go into this. This isn't the story. They got it right. Anyways, that's all I have for that time today. Thank you.